Greetings, friends. My name is Alex. I hope you're doing well today. I did a landscaping job last week and decided I should make a video going over the mistakes I made and the lessons I learned to hopefully um, save y'all some some heartache and some time and money and so you can be safe and not hurt yourself. Very important. So we're going to be going over what went wrong, what I could have done better, and the best and safest way to remove these holly stumps. So let's get into it. Um, we had to clear out all the smaller foliage around the bushes. So first we used spades to dig all that out. And, uh, you know, there's yuccas and poison ivy and s smaller, all kinds of little smaller stuff. So we dug all of that out. And then uh, we switched up and used the electric hedge trimmers after we cleared all that out and got it exposed. Um, this video isn't the... Uh, this is after after we cleared out the first bush, but it's the same concept. I just took my electric hedge trimmers and just took them and just cleared, got them all the way down, just where there was enough to get my chain around the base of the plant. And the electric hedge trimmers, these are $30, $30 ones from Walmart. They cut through these little limbs very well, like quarter inch, almost an inch thick limbs on these bushes, just fine. Super easy, I almost cut my finger off actually, but this is where I started to, uh, this is where we started to mess up. We bought the farm jack to uh, remove these bushes. I didn't realize they were gonna be so, so dangerous until we actually, until we actually tried them. Um, so the reason it's so dangerous, as you can tell, it's very unstable. <laughs> And that the two before is not doing nothing. It's not doing nothing. There's so much force being applied, and it could just slip out at any moment. Oh, not to she's mention there. the uh, the pry bar that I'm using there. Oh, it's got so much force on it. If you let go of that and your head's in the way, you know, boom, you're gonna get hit. So, not to mention the jack didn't even get uh, get everything all the way down. We still had to uh, dig up everything around it and then take a sawzall to the roots so you know what it is i hope it doesn't we had to break out the truck the next ones the we didn't even want to mess around Not today. with using the jack because they were way bigger than the first bush we did so luckily these bushes were right here on the customer's driveway so i was able to just hook up to my truck and pull them out that way but there's more bushes to be done and they're in the yard, so I can't take my truck out there. I guess I might be able to, but I think we're gonna get a tractor instead. And, um, yeah, yeah, I think the, uh, the tractor is definitely, definitely the move. Um, for your health and safety and time, it's gonna save you a lot of time and be much safer. Um, if you don't have a tractor, you can rent one for maybe 30 to 40 bucks more than you can buy the uh, farm jack for and not kill yourself. So that's my recommendation to do it much safer. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys found that uh, useful and got some valuable information that can help you. Um, if it did... I would really appreciate a thumbs up and some feedback in the comments. So until next time, my friends, keep a diamond state of mind, and I'll see you later.